Hi everyone, meteorologist Robert Spenny here with you. Uh, you may be out here in Eastern Asia and may have heard about the rainy season, but not quite exactly sure uh, what it means. So if you're in Eastern Asia during the months of May, June, and July, the weather outside may not look like it does here right now, but more like this. Yeah, a little bit of cloudy and some rain, but that is the rainy season. It typically lasts for several weeks for uh, basically everybody across southeastern China, Taiwan, much of Japan, even extending off towards Korea and uh, Russia, or at least eastern portions of Russia. In this episode of Westpac Weather 101, I want to break down what actually causes the rainy season. And uh, for those of you who are out here, what do you want to expect when one does occur? For whole synopsis on the monsoon itself, the difference between the northeast and the southwest monsoon, I'm gonna put a video over here. That is our episode of Westpac Weather 101 that we basically put out a whole description on all that. And this one, just breaking down the rainy season. So on the rainy season front, it's called the Bayou Front in Japan, the Mayu Front in China. It's all basically the same thing. It's the leading edge of the southwest monsoon. It starts in early May and you really see it fully set in uh, across much of southeastern China and uh, basically Okinawa by that time bringing steady rain showers. I mean take a look at this. This is the seven day forecast for Okinawa in early May of 2014 widespread precipitation every single day you're expecting rain showers every three to four days a new upper level trough comes along it picks up this storm systems develops some them even stronger and then you see some pretty torrential rain coming out of it well typically during the months of may much of southeastern china you do see the threat of flooding out here and it's not just a matter of having an umbrella handy on a daily basis but always being aware of that flood threat. If you are over towards the southern Japanese islands, Okinawa included in the months of May, uh, you probably want to have some rain gear ready, especially if you are riding around on a motorcycle or any outdoor activities that you do have planned. And then eventually over towards much of mainland Japan and northeastern China, that flood threat does continue to pick up. In Tokyo, typically during the month of June, every day, yeah, it kind of looks like this. Uh, rather cloudy, some light rain showers, nothing too intense. They do have some thunderstorms that do flare up, but just all around pretty foul and humid conditions. Well, that is with the leading edge of the southwest monsoon. So once the monsoonal front passes off towards the north, you're going to start to see some warmer weather behind it. Now, the monsoon itself, the rainy season front, what causes it? Well, as I said, that video over here that has uh, the explanation of the Siberian high, it starts to retreat with the retreating northeast monsoon. That typically sets up when it's cold out in too much of Siberia. Now, as that retreats, the West Pack High builds in. So you have two areas of high pressure one towards the north, one towards the south. Naturally, an elongated trough is going to set up right in the middle of that. This area of low pressure keeps things quite unstable, plus the difference between the warm air into the tropics and the cooler air across much of Siberia that makes things, well, unsettled and wet. And well, that's why we have the rainy season. Now, by the time July rolls around, it's going to get off there towards the north, and you're going to be seeing some improving conditions behind it with those southwesterly winds setting in. Oh, well, that means going to be much warmer. Now this is for northeastern Asia though, to remind you, and much of China, Taiwan, and Japan, you're going to see that passing front. Once it does move off towards the north though, the southwest monsoon sets in for the Philippines. And well, that's your rainy season uh, at that point for the countries in the south caused by the monsoonal winds there. So yeah, I hope that settles some questions you may have had about the rainy season. Best bet when it starts to happen, don't be too surprised if you hear some reports of flooding. It's a natural thing. It occurs on a yearly basis, especially if you're into southeastern China, Taiwan, even the southern Japanese islands through the months of May, Korea. Yes, in June, it's going to be fairly wet out there for you as well. So this is something that happens every year. It is nothing new. It has nothing to do with global warming. The front always sets up in the same pattern due to that yearly change in the winds and thus the monsoon which literally means winds and changing of winds so uh yeah with that said everybody thanks for watching stay safe out there if you want to see some more educational videos check out our westpac weather 101 and educational playlist you can see it right here in the box 
And we'll be out plenty of information there, not just on, well, monsoons, but also typhoons, earthquakes and tsunamis, even heat lighting I put in there at one point. So yeah, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.